Yeah. Um, Do, would you be like opposed to something like this? You're a scam artist. How is that a scam? Do you know what a scam is? I do. What's the definition of it? It's a blank sign on one side. That's not a scam. But you call someone a scam artist, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, because you don't know the words you use, that's why. Oh, I know. I studied Shakespeare. Bro. And I got into a dumbass conversation with you, mm -hmm. knowing that you're an abortionist murder person, mm -hmm. and waited until the conversation was about halfway through. I'm like, I, I'm trying to be so careful with my words because you're such a pedantic little bitch. No, I'm good, man. Appreciate it, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah? I'm good, man. I'm already doing pretty well. Appreciate it, though. Come here. No, it's less than 1.7%. No, you're a fucking moron. A miscarriage oh. is a medical abortion. No, it's no, it's not. Okay, let me let me educate you, okay? Yes, it well, fucking hold on, is. Hold on, Give it, hey, give it. Hey. Yeah, well, who tried to punch her? If someone trust, tries to punch her, they're gonna get hit. I don't care what it is. Yeah, make me. What's up guys, we're here on that one street. Found some, I don't know if they're ACLU members or some other members fighting for Palestine or Gaza or Hamas, uh, but it says save, save the children on their shirts. So I'm gonna see if we can have a conversation with them and, and test the consistency of their message. Gotta say hi to the old fellas. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? How's it going, man? What was that? How you doing, brother? I love your concept, what? man. Keep it did up, you message man. me on Instagram a while back? Yeah, I did. Okay, what's your name? Wayne. Wayne, I'm Eliezer. Nice to meet you, brother. Nice to meet you. Yeah, you're working? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Delivery deliver driver. Okay, just, nice, just man. Just sling beer and whatnot around here. Yeah. I see all of it, man. It's yeah. crazy out here. I bet. All the homelessness and all the oh, yeah. chaos. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and just. All the, all the crazy people, yeah, aside that, from them, you know what I mean? That's funny that you found me right now. Yeah. We saw some, like, I don't know if it says save the children on the back of their thing, so yeah. we wanted to come confront yeah. them and see if they actually... They never know what they're talking about, though, so I can't actually get any get footage. Them, bro. Yeah, yeah. Can't wait to see <laughs> hey, thank you, though, man. I appreciate it. We'll talk soon. Yeah, man. How's it going, man? Hey. All right, boys. Got a good warm-up going. How you doing, sir? Good, good. What, what are you guys petitioning for? Um, or not petitioning, I guess, um, promoting. Yeah, so we're fundraising for Save the Children. This is actually my first day. But, um, oh, it is? Okay, okay. Cool. <laughs> so, yeah, just uh, the quick of it is, um, uh, so, like, in the, re like, the last two years, uh, about a third of Pakistan has been submerged under flood water in some way. Okay. So, like, so many people have been displaced and, like, most affected are, like, you know, poorest families and, like, children. Mm-hmm. Um, so, uh, the result of that is um, just like so many people. Yeah, no, there's a lot, a lot of people being displaced. Um, okay. So what we're doing is we're providing like uh, food, water. Oh, nice. And, like basic services. Also like uh, mosquito nets. Um, Cause I'm sure you're like. Yeah. That's awesome, man. Flood water. Yeah, yeah. Mosquitoes, dinghy and like malaria. Yeah. And then also like child-friendly spaces, uh, which are like it's like a trend for spaces, but it's for like education and. Play. Oh, okay. Um, and also so that kids can have a routine to like, deal with the trauma, which is like super. Uh, for, like, dealing with it, yeah. yeah, especially for kids. Yeah. That's awesome. I didn't. I had seen. Uh, we were filming like a few weeks back. I saw people wearing those vests, oh, okay. but I didn't know what it was for. Because there's other people, I think ACL, ACLU, yeah, they like, uh, yeah. but that's different. This is different than that, right? Yeah, I actually used to be on ACLU. So oh, really? New pitch for me, yeah. Oh, <laughs> did you did you like ACLU or? Oh. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I, I like canvassing for ACLU a little oh. bit more. Yeah. It's a little bit easier for me just because like a, those kind of issues like hit a little closer to home. It's okay. Like trans rights. Okay. Um, Thank you so much. Um, yeah. With them, they do stuff for abortions too, right? Like for abortion rights? Yeah. Um, do, would you be like opposed to something like this? As he flips the sign. He's a scam artist. That's what he's doing. What was that? You're hiding your message. And so it's a positive story. Okay, what's your point? You're a scam artist. How is that a scam? Do you know what a scam is? I do. What's the definition of it? It's a blank sign on one side. That's not a scam. A scam is making a promise on the front end and not delivering on the back end. You don't know the definitions, do you? You don't know the definitions? That's the funny part. If, no, no. If, if, if you're gonna use words, at least know the Sorry. definitions, please. He's not with Save the Children. 
No, I'm, I'm saving the children. Do you know what it is? Yeah. That's what I'm, that's what I'm talking about. No, I know, I was talking to him. He's using words he doesn't know though. That's a problem. I'm recording the Save the Children person conversation so we can flip the sign around and go, looky, looky. That's why I was mad at him. Were you actually listening to our conversation? No, I don't yeah, know. Yeah. So thank you. But you call someone a scam artist, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, because you don't know the words you use, that's why. Oh, I know. I studied Shakespeare, bro. You what? I, I studied Shakespeare. Okay. So I understand words, actually. Okay, well, was, but you didn't give me the right definition of scam. I don't have the Webster's Dictionary. You don't need the Webster's definition, but you made a complete false equivalency with that. If I had a massive sign with a dead fetus in it, and I went with a, a small black, child, yep. Sure. Anyway, mm -hmm. talk about pedantic. Hi. Mm -hmm. Do you know what the word pedantic means? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yep. If I had a big old sign that said, "Women have the right to choose what to do with their bodies," or men. Um, and on one side it was blank, and I had a vlogger recording the whole damn mm -hmm. thing, and I got into a dumbass conversation with you, mm -hmm. knowing that you're an abortionist murder person, mm -hmm. and waited until the conversation was about halfway through, and then went whomp. What's an abortion? You said abortion. See, Hold on. You said I'm an abortionist murderer. That's not what I said. What, what did you just say then? I said you're a scam artist. No, no, no. Right now you just said a different word. Uh, you said you're an abortionist abor murderer. Abortion you're, you're using words too fast. You don't even know what you're yeah. using. That's a problem. So you're you're pro-choice or pro-killing kids? I'm, I'm pro-choice. Pro-choice. Okay. okay. Yeah. Nice. That's what I'm trying to say is that like, it's one thing to you know, protest. You have the right to protest. You have the right to say your voice. That's uh -huh. totally true. Uh -huh. I'm not arguing with that. Right. I'm not arguing with your opinion. I'm you're not. arguing with the fact that the sign is turned around. Oh yeah. Okay. With so, a vlogger right there. Yeah, yeah. Like, I see. What, I'm an actor, man. I see what the stage opportunity. So my is question here. is, if someone ha is so, um, they believe in their beliefs so much, uh -huh. why would they be afraid of being on camera? What's the problem with that? The problem isn't that. What is it? What's the, the problem? The problem is hiding the conversation until you decide to go. What about this? And a dead well, that's not, fetus is right there. But you weren't listening to the conversation, like I, I just asked you. I see. The no, no, you weren't listening to the conversation. So why are you assuming? When you have an image why are you like assuming if you don't know the conversation? I don't care what the conversation. Well, is. maybe you should have some context, understanding What's before making context? an assumption. Tell me what the context I don't need a, is that I missed. I, no, you no, said no, I don't have the context. No, Tell because you already made the assumption. No, so I don't get to know your context. I thought it's so important to you. No, no, no. I mean, it's just people like you Is don't. You don't have not? any basis for your moral I'm indignation. Basis. Well, you don't have a basis, so I don't. Need, I don't even need to have a basis. To give me the from your worldview, it's all preferences. No, I'm. I'm saying, what is your? Opinion? So is is stopping abortions? Is that morally wrong? I'm like I, I'm trying to be so careful with my words because you're such a pedantic little bitch. Okay, I'll I'll let you I'll let you go. Go on. Okay, what was your question again? Is stopping abortions is that morally wrong? Stopping abortions is morally wrong, yes. Okay, on what basis? Because it's not your fucking decision. Okay, so if it's, uh, you're pretty much saying bodily autonomy, giving everyone the freedom. No, I'm saying it's not your decision. Okay, but I'm not saying it's my decision. You are. How? You're saying abortion is murder. But is this a baby? I don't know what that is. It's someone's terrible drawing that you're forcing people on the street to look at. So then you know what, how traumatizing what, that can be to someone who just had an abortion oh, I know, because of medical I, issues? I, I, I know it's, I know it's, no. I know it's traumatizing. Have you had yeah, look, look at that's what they're killing. Were you that's what they're killing. Were you ever how, how many abortions are due to medical conditions? Go ahead. Oh yeah, you can't argue. That's why. No, I'm letting someone with. I assume. <laughs> I have had an abortion, and I wouldn't be here today if I wasn't able to have that abortion. Yeah. So I'm definitely pro-choice, and that's why I have a statue. Okay. That's why I had to come back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For you. I appreciate yeah. you coming back, yeah. Um, I Can also I just got sterilized because I never want to have to go through that experience again. Okay. People who get abortions, they don't do it without a heavy amount of emotion and burden, and I'm grateful every single day of my life that I got an abortion. Yeah. Can I ask so. you, why do you think it's such a heavy burden on them? Like, why is because it so traumatizing? there's a lot of... It's a huge pressure. I think that... But, like, what what about it is pressuring? Um, are you Latino? Am I Latino? Yeah, yeah, yeah. are you? Okay, I'm also Latino. Okay. And perfect, perfect. I, I like know, this, actually. Yeah, I yeah. don't know about other cultures, but I know within my culture, there is a heavy amount of expectation that... Or assumption, you could say, mm -hmm. that we are meant to produce more life. Mm -hmm. And that's simply not what I wanted to do, and certainly not at the time that I got pregnant. Okay. Um, so. Can I can I ask you though? Because 
I am genuinely curious. I'm not trying to have any gotchas. I am genuinely curious. Yeah. When you say that a lot of women, when they get abortions, it's traumatizing. There's a lot of pressure on it. Why do you think there is a lot of pressure? Like, what do you think about it is traumatizing to them afterwards? It's not that it was traumatizing afterwards. And it's not that the abortion itself is traumatic. It's that making the decision and knowing that you, it, like for one, financially, it's not always possible. And I didn't feel like I had people that I could talk to. Mm -hmm. So it's hard to know what your resources are mm -hmm. because there's such a stigma around it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I think when I found out but, that I was pregnant, it felt like a really huge mistake and like I really messed up. Mm -hmm. so, Can I ask you though, do you think part of that pressure would be maybe because you know that there's an innocent life in there that it's hard to get rid of that. It's hard to make that decision to end that life. Is that maybe why you think some women would really feel that pressure? And some I would have ended my life if I had to have the baby. Do you really think that? Yes. And is that because you had other, like, um, I, obviously we all have life, we have problems, financial problems, hardships. Do you think it's because you had some hardships in life that it would have just been too much pressure at once? I think that whatever decision I made, if that life had continued, I would forever be a mother, regardless of my relationship to mm -hmm. that child. Um, but I think, I just, I, I, I just know I wouldn't be here if I didn't have it. Yeah, it's just kind of, um, cause I try to see, I definitely see your side. It's just hard for me because a lot of women, even when they think they don't want a child and that's the last thing they want financially. My mom was a single mom with three kids. We were raised off government assistance, uh, food stamps. We had to get clothes for, for the school year. We had to get it from nonprofit organizations. Mm -hmm. So we really did go through a lot of hardship with that, but it was still a beautiful life. She still gave us a lot of love and, um, I think the reason why it is traumatizing and pressuring is because we know deep down inside it's already within our conscience that it is wrong to, to get rid of a baby. It's wrong though. Fundamentally, that's a huge difference between that's what your you're opinion. saying and what we're saying. You don't believe in science then? That's your oh, opinion. Oh, sorry about that, sir. You were saying my life, etc. This is what happened with my yes. experience. Well, it's not my opinion, it's science. You, you don't believe no, in science? You just said you, you don't believe my in science. mom had that's trouble. That's a really poor argument. It really is. How, how is that poor argument? That's what it always comes back to this, so. No, but you don't have any basis. You don't believe in science. You, basis, you don't believe in morality. You refuse to give it to Wait, me. so. I think there's science. Because you're full of shit. What's the scientific consensus are you on this, do you know? Or are you the recording this because it's funny? I wouldn't know. I know. Oh, so. There is a consensus. I'm so sorry. Within science? But I'm so you sorry. Uh, I mean. I mean, you're obviously very angry. There must be a reason why. I'm angry because you're flipping around. But does that say more about me or you? I don't get angry. Look at me. I'm you're chilling. You're fucking drawing on your sign. That makes you angry? Yes, it does. But does that say more about the problems you have in your personal life or more about me? That's my question. It's funny because I feel like you're both arguing for injustice. But I have a know. basis, though. Sorry? Yeah. I have a basis. I well, don't, so, does, so I'm going to walk away. You already yeah. voiced your oh, opinion no, about do. it being an Thank you for thing. reminding me. Hey, thanks, though, brother. Yeah. You have a good one. Yeah. Hold on. Are you a developing leader or maybe you're looking to get into leadership where you can help more people and you can create the everlasting impact that you know you're capable of creating? Well, my name is Eliezer Perez. My company, High Level Performance, has helped over 50 clients scale from zero to six figures and even multiple six figures. And we've been able to do this pretty consistently. So here's how we help our clients. Pretty much whatever service you think you want to offer or whatever thing you want to help people with, whether it's helping them lose weight, make more money, learn crypto, learn sales, um, get more confidence, whatever it is, I'm going to help you create a high ticket sales offer with this one offer. I'm going to help you learn how to market it. I'm going to help you learn how to sell people. And I'm going to help you learn how to retain clients by providing an amazing customer experience to these clients through doing it systematically, meaning that I'm gonna help you learn how to make it scalable. This is why a lot of my clients go from zero to 10,000 to 20,000 and even more than that per month. I created a free 45 minute training that is gonna be in the link down below and you can watch it, it's completely free. Afterwards, if you wanna book a free one-on-one -on -one call with myself, I'm gonna pretty much go into your business, I'm gonna dissect everything that's going on, I'm gonna see what kind of gaps need to be filled and I'll pretty much give you a specific roadmap based off where you're at and what you need help with and maybe if you wanna work with me then we can explore the options then and if not, I still wanna make sure that the training gives you a lot of value and a bunch of golden nuggets so you don't have what I would call information overload and you know exactly where to go, what to do, and how to go about it. I, I wanted to say, I, I like conversations like this. Mm -hmm. we, we actually come just to have a respectful conversation like this. Mm -hmm. It's people like him that are very angry inside that come and they start calling me a bitch and saying all these things. I don't get angry. I don't get offended at that. Um, I do I do really feel for you though. and Because I, I know because I know I'm not negating at all what you felt and what you were going through. Um, and even like you said, I might not be here if I would have had that kid. Um, yeah. Your life obviously matters, right? Um, and that's why it is a... It, it is a difficult situation because a lot of people do go through through a lot of hardships, trauma. Um, some people have a lot of anxiety, depression that they're dealing with, and how are they going to take care of a kid, right, if they're dealing with those kind of issues? So I definitely do feel from where people like you come from. Yeah, I guess my the thing is with the scientific consensus that I was saying is um, 
99% uh, of the, the biggest scientists in the world agree that life begins at conception. I don't agree with that. I don't. Well, okay, so that's another conversation that we could have. It's it's difficult to say that there's consensus because a lot of the research that's being do you mind coming this way a little bit more so we don't block? A lot oh. of the research that's putting into being put into something like that is going to be very biased because that's just whoever's funding it has an ulterior motive to why they're having that research done. But do you really think that the bias is on on the side of like my side, for example, nowadays because they want to do the kind of the exact opposite as as this? So why did you choose this image? Uh, so the website Abolitionist Rising, they're an abolitionist uh, organization. They want to abolish abortion. Um, they made this this sign. I didn't make it. I just I just purchased it from them to support them. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, That's an assumption on my part. No, no, no. It's all good. It's all good. I know you have good intentions. You seem like a nice person. So um, I know you, you don't have any bad intentions. But it says abortion is murder, and you know it. Um, the reason why is because it's been socially acceptable and even morally good, quote unquote, to to just get rid of those kids. Like like you said, there's. I don't agree with that. You said you don't agree with science, right? For me, I go I from. Didn't say that. No, sorry. You don't agree with that scientific consensus because there I might be a bias. I agree that there is a scientific consensus. But you can look up the studies from from um, UCLA. You can look up the studies from uh, a lot of the big colleges, the biggest colleges from 2013, even before that. It, it ha it's not even disputable anymore. Like it's not something that they even argue about. If it's not disputable anymore, then why are there still arguments? It's because once again, it's been disputed. it's been socially acceptable. Do you know back in the times when they had slavery, mm -hmm. it was legally okay, right? What was legally okay? Uh, slavery. Okay, so how is slavery related? Attached to this? Because at the time, there was people that were saying that slavery is okay. My, my plantation, my property, my slave, my property. So there was a lot of, majority of people believed in owning slaves. There was nothing morally wrong with it. It was socially acceptable, correct? It doesn't make sense to apply it to the argument, though. No, it does well, because I'm, I'm creating an equivalence right now. And so the, the reason why this is important is because scientifically and even morally, if you're a Christian, you have a basis for why why you should say that this so is does wrong. Does this rule only apply to Christians? No, because I just said scientifically and, and as a Christian. There's atheists that also are, are not like if they really actually believe in science, they are they are pro life. But the reason why I'm making that equivalence though is because there's people like me, a small minority, a person that you might think like, oh, what he's doing is stupid or what he's doing is wrong. It's socially acceptable to get rid of I'm these really, kids. I'm sorry, I'm just very confused. So why is it called that? And what is this? And then what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, so I, I believe that life begins at conception, just like science says. Even if you wanted, if I wanted to grant that Christianity was wrong, like it doesn't matter what Christianity says, scientifically there's a consensus that life begins at conception. I just, sorry, um, I'm going to be very honest here. Yeah, yeah. I don't agree with what you're saying. Right, right. So it's really hard for me to pay attention to what you're saying. Okay. I also need to go to yeah, yeah, no the errand, no um, but I just, it was nagging me when I was halfway there because I just, I had yeah. to say my piece because I feel really strongly about protecting abortion yeah. rights. Yeah. Um, so that's all I'm going to say. No, I appreciate uh, you. Yeah. Well, thank you. What was your name? Fabiola. Fabiola. Okay. Thank you. Have a good one. <laughs> I love, I love when, uh, I love when, guys, that's the, that's the LGBTQ community, the, the, lo the community of love, the guy, not the, not the girl. Yeah, it would have stung. Um, what's funny is they, they want you to give into their antics, and they don't give into their antics. I, I stay cool, I stay calm, I stay collected. Why? Because if they're getting angry at something, does it really show more about me and my sign that I'm freely expressing, you know, to, to protest, to, to support something, just like the way they were standing here? Is there something wrong with that? If they're angry, maybe it's because they're, they're projecting. Maybe they have a lot of anger in their life, they have a lot of pain, a lot of resentment. And so with a guy like that, um, you know they're a fool. They're a fool. And so the Bible says, don't answer a fool in foolish ways. So I don't need to stoop down to his level because when you argue with an idiot, he will bring you down to his level and beat you with experience. And so the reason why as a Christian especially, you can't get mad, you can't get angry, you can't get upset. It's always going to show your weakness. As a man, you've got to remain stoic. You've got to remain calm and collected. You've got to show that you're in control of your emotions. So that was kind of that, but it was fun. Um, professing to be wise you become a fool. So the, the fact that they couldn't understand what I meant by basis, by scientific consensus, uh, by, by morally, the fact that they couldn't understand these, these well, foundations. Healthcare. How so? Would you like to come discuss it, ma'am? <laughs> you see guys, they don't have any basis. That's what I'm saying. They just, they yell out these buzzwords, the buzzwords that we've been taught to, to just push out. How are you doing, ma'am? You agree, disagree? Enjoy your coffee. But the buzzwords don't really have any meaning because if, if you can't justify them, if you don't have any basis, any objective basis for them, they're, they're really meaningless. What do you think, ma'am? How you doing? You agree or disagree? 
You don't agree? Okay, have a good one. But that was fun though. Oh, I it's <laughs> I know, I like I like that. How you ladies doing? Good, good. good. Agree, disagree? No opinion. Thank you, thank you. God loves you. He said, be, be fruitful and multiply. Spread the wisdom, spread the kids. <laughs> so, guys, remember, don't answer a fool in foolish ways. These people, it's, it's, it's ironic because they, they literally are the ones that preach. They're the only ones that preach at the top of their lungs. Love and inclusivity. Love and inclusivity, freedom, bodily autonomy. But when you have a difference of opinion, all of a sudden they call you names, they get angry, they can't control their anger. Here's the thing guys, when you, when you fight against this, when you fight against this community, the alphabet community, and you even bring up their community, all rationality and all reasoning, it just completely goes out the window. They have no basis for, for any of that. Like all they hear is sirens, all they hear is the sirens right here in their head. They can't actually think logically. So that's why I don't, I don't wanna beat up on these people, right? I could easily dismantle them in, in the debate, but they just get so angry once again, I don't wanna be a fool and come down to their level. I wanna debate them, I wanna challenge them, and I wanna destroy their worldview because their worldview is so um, hypocritical, it's so deceitful, um, it's all based off lies, and I want to prove it wrong, but obviously if you can't talk, then you can't talk. I felt bad. He was so nervous. He was like, yeah, so nervous. Wait, the first? The first, when I was talking to him. Yeah, yeah. Before the guy interrupted. So like, I feel like I'm, I don't want to make them feel like so bad, like where they can't talk, you know? Because it's not like I have like a bad, a bad intention or anything. How you doing, ma'am? More what? And then when we How you ladies went, doing? Hi. Good. Uh, when we went, <laughs> I, uh, How you doing, sir? Good, good. You agree, disagree? Uh, I'm not a woman, so. I disagree. Hard. Okay, well, we still love you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. You know, it's funny, the Christians are the only ones that, uh, the Christians are the only ones that actually make a difference, make a change. Atheists want to kill these babies. Um, you don't see Muslims at abortion clinics. You don't see Muslims protesting for this kind of stuff. You don't see them um, adopting kids. But Christians are always the ones at the forefront. You can say all the bad things about Christians, but they're the ones actually doing the work. They're the ones are actually... That are there atheists? If they're real atheists. Like, if they're real atheists in the sense of they actually believe in science. But then, but they don't actually believe in science. They they believe in sociology. So they'll look at like, oh well, it's been proven statistically that it's bad for women's mental health. So they'll like pull up a bias study. I think we should go honestly. We can just come over here and then we'll we'll dip if not. No, I'm good, man. Appreciate it though. Yeah. Hey, it would help you chill the fuck out. Oh yeah. I'm good, man. I'm already doing pretty well. Appreciate it, though. Come here. Hey, you know women are being airlifted from Idaho? What was that? Women are being airlifted from Idaho into Oregon right now because they can't get life-saving or emergency abortions. And doctors are saying it's only a matter of time before somebody bleeds out in a helicopter. Yeah. Any day now, it's going to happen. We're going to have the yeah. first death on a helicopter of a woman being moved to Oregon yeah. for an abortion. That? No, I, 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 that's very sad. It's awesome. But how, how many of those, how, what percentage is it of those women? What do you mean, what fucking percent? All of them, that's where they can get abortions so by coming here. Every woman that's getting an abortion is due to medical procedures? No, most abortions are. No, they're not. abortion was of a dead embryo. Okay, sorry to hear that. That's most abortions. That's are not most abortions. Yes, it is. Because Have you looked at statistics? Most abortions are cleanups after miscarriages, and women can't even get those in Idaho no. now. No, it's less than 1.7%. No, you're a fucking moron. Uh, you because don't know the statistics. miscarriages are extremely common, and most women opt to have... Miscarriages and abortion are different. What is what is abortion? No, a miscarriage Ab is a medical abortion. No, yes, no, it's not. Is. Okay, let me let me educate you, okay? Yes, it well, fucking hold on. is. Hold on, give back, hey, give back. Hey, hey. Hey, that's not okay. Don't put your hands. Hey, get back. Stop. Stop. Don't put your hands on her. Please, I don't want to scare your daughter. Please get away. <laughs> I have the footage. You want to see it? Yeah, well, who tried to punch her? If someone tries to punch her, they're going to get hit. I don't care what it is. Yeah, stay quiet. That's how I like them. Have a good day. Oh, I'll have a great day. I'll have a great day. Yeah, make me. 
You want to make me? 